when we create a suitable variable name we must declare them to the compiler when we declare a variable it does two things first one when we declare variable it will tell to the compiler the name of variable and second it also specifies what's the data type of that variable is before using any variable in the program first we have to declare the variable variable which we create can be used to store a value of any data type that means whatever name we choose for the variable that name has nothing to do with its type now we will see how variable is created the syntax for declaring a variable is data type space v1 comma v2 comma v3 up to vn and then semicolon here data type is a type of data we want to give for the variable it can be int float character etc v1 v2 up to vn are the names of variables if we are declaring more than one variable they should be separated by commas a declaration statement must end with a semicolon for example int addition int number comma total float height character or char c these are valid declaration of variables here int float and char are keywords which are used for data types and addition number total height and c are the identifiers which are used as variable names now we will see various data types and the keywords used for that particular data type so data type character which use the keyword char for unsigned character the keyword is unsigned char for signed character the keyword we use are sign char next sign integer the keyword is used sign int or you can simply write int next sign short integer and the keyword used are sign short int or you can use short int or you can also use only short next signed log integer and the keyword used are signed long int or you can write long int or simply you can write long next one is unsigned integer and the keyword used are unsigned int next unsigned short integer and the keyword used is unsigned short next unsigned long integer and the keyword used is unsigned long int next one floating point and the keyword used is float next data type that is double precision floating point and the keyword used is double and the last one 
extended double precision floating point and the keyword used is long double now we will see how values are assigned to the variables for assigning values to variables assignment statement is used the assignment operator that is equal to symbol is used for assigning the value to the variable the syntax for assigning values to variable is variable name then equal to symbol then constant and at the end semicolon here variable name is the name of variable and constant is the value which we want to assign to that variable for example addition equal to 0 number equal to 12 total equal to 7 height equal to 5.6 c equal to x in this way we can assign values to the variables c also allows multiple assignment in one line for example number equal to 14 semicolon total equal to 5 semicolon r valid statements and assignment statement implies that the value of the variable on the left hand side of the equal sign is set equal to the value of expression on the right hand side the statement n equal to n plus 1 means that the new value of n is equal to the old value of n plus 1 for example if old value of n is 3 then the new value of n will be n plus 1 that is 3 plus 1 which is 4 it is also possible to assign a value to a variable at the time of variable is declared the syntax is as follows data type space variable name equal to symbol and then constant and finally semicolon here data type is type of data variable name is the name of variable and constant is the value of variable for example int addition equal to 21 int number equal to 12 comma total equal to 32 float height equal to 5.4 character c equal to s the process of giving starting values or initial values to variable is called initialization c permits the initialization of more than one variables in one statement using multiple assignment operators for example the statement a equal to b equal to c equal to 0 and x equal to y equal to z equal to 0 are valid statement the first statement initialize the variable a b and c to 0 the second statement initialize the variable x y and z to 